my dear beloved people of God, we are in the new year 2024. I wish you a prosperous happy new year. This is the first reflection of this year. I welcome you to listen intensely to the explanations of the scriptures. Today we celebrate the feast of the epiphany which means the revelation or the manifestation of Jesus the light of the world to the gentiles today we focus our attention on the wise man that came from the orient land to adore baby Jesus with their precious gifts they represent the entire gentile world who come to acknowledge the light and the salvation of the world Jesus Christ the gospel passage is the fulfillment of the prophecy of prophet Isaiah which we find in today's first reading regarding the messiah Matthew the evangelist has this motif that his own people the king the jewish religious leaders rejected the messiah but the gentiles accepted him and this is much prominent in the passion narratives who are these wise men and what do they teach us well there are several stories about them to know something more about them regarding their place and the number you can watch my other videos too which will appear at the end of this video basically they were the seekers of truth and they did find the truth jesus christ they were quite good at astronomy and they learned the movement of the stars they knew that there was a birth of a great person by the star that shone in the sky and which guided them to jerusalem to bethlehem that star was a mysterious star these wise men were very firm in their search we can understand that by the journey that they took such an arduous journey on foot facing various weather conditions woes of the bare terrain and dangers of numerous kind nothing could stop them from their search and they did succeed in their search because their search was intense they were focused on their endeavor but we need to remember one thing that in their search there was a time they were confused and at this time they sought for counsel and guidance they were humble enough to ask for help although they were wise men once they reached their destination they were humble enough to bend down and kiss the tiny feet of the newborn king jesus christ and offer their gifts of gold frankincense and myrrh they accepted their own lowliness before the king of kings surely they must have been surprised to find the king of kings born in a stable rather than in a big palace and yet they must have been touched by the simplicity that surrounded the birthplace of Jesus they never doubted the child for they were certain that god guided them correctly they trusted god and so we can say they were not worldly people but much connected with the divine because they could perceive the divine plan for the child and for themselves and so they didn't return to herod's palace and the culmination about them is this that they followed not the same path to go back home but completely took a new route a new direction in life my dear god's people we have several lessons to learn from these wise men's visit to baby jesus they teach us to seek the truth even if there are countless hurdles on the path once we find jesus we need to bend down and adore him 
their veneration or homage points to the majesty of the child Jesus the son of David the son of God the Emmanuel Jesus their change of direction points to their change of attitude in life change of perspective change of priorities in life and therefore once we encounter Jesus our priorities in life should change there should be a change of direction in our life and this is the right time the starting of the new year happy feast to you may god bless you